What's up, guys? It's a me boxing, and I just finished up watching Emmanuel Navarrete versus Christopher Diaz, which is a 12 rounder for the WBO Feather World Championship. And this fight was Saturday, April 24th, from the Silver Spurs Arena in Kissimmee, Florida. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, Emmanuel Navarrete dominated Christopher Diaz as he gets the 12th round stoppage victory with the remaining 20 seconds left of the fight. He was able to drop. Um, Christopher Diaz four times, along with getting a point deduction in the seventh round, did uh, Christopher Diaz, which also added to his deficit. I had the fight scored, I believe, um, 108 to 97 leading up to that um, 12th round. And um, Navarrete was doing very well early on. He was using his reach advantage. I believe he had like an 8-inch reach advantage in this fight. And he was using it effectively as he landed a beautiful uppercut in that fourth round that dropped Christopher Diaz. Then, as I said before, in that seventh round, um, uh, Christopher Diaz got a point deduction for hitting behind the back, which it shouldn't have been a point deduction because he was literally, like, loved tapping him in the back. It didn't even look like a punch. It looked like he was just tapping him in the clinch, um, and it looked accidental, uh, to be fair. But um, then in that eighth round, Emmanuel Navarrete was able to drop Christopher Diaz twice. Um, first, it was started off with a beautiful combination of Navarrete that dropped him the second knockdown, and that round was caused by another beautiful uppercut, similar to the fourth round. But um, from that... Um, time on. I mean, he just dominated Christopher Diaz. I mean, the rounds earlier, they were kind of close, I guess you could say, because at least Diaz was firing back and sort of um, giving an answer to Emmanuel Navarrete's combinations, but it was still pretty clear rounds for Navarrete nonetheless. But um, Emmanuel Navarrete just showing right here why he's a level above of all these fighters that are stepping in his way, and I think he should unify next. I mean, Who's up next for him? I'm a featherweight, as I was saying in my prediction video, you have guys like Ken Zhu, you have um, Mauricio Lara. That would be a great fight. I would love to see Lara versus Navarrete, but obviously Lara is busy with his rematch against Josh Warrington. Uh, you also have other guys like Gary Russell Jr. I don't think there's going to be a crossover with Top Rank and... Uh, um, PBC, so I don't really think that's an option. But there's other WBO contenders out there. There's other champions um, like Kanzu, as I was saying before. He's with DAZN, Golden Boy. I mean, I'm not really too sure if that could happen either. But um, Emmanuel Navarrete nonetheless showing that he could possibly beat all those other champions. And I think he will. As I said in my Persian video, and I still continue to say this, he is the best 126-pounder in the world. Um, he's an active champion. Um, unlike Gary Russell Jr., who fights like once a year, I mean, he fights some of the toughest guys, he knocks them out, and he puts on great performances, as he showed right here. And um, what's next for Christopher Diaz after losing here? He did show a lot of heart, as after every single knockdown, he got back up. But just more on that stoppage, um, Emmanuel Navarrete was able to hurt Christopher Diaz, as Diaz came out in that 12th round swinging, because he needed a KO, and he landed some good shots in that 12th round, up until he was hit with a beautiful combination, started up with a beautiful um, trademark left uppercut from Emmanuel Navarrete, and then um, he was battered, dropped, he got back up, then he was hit with some more combos, then the corner stopped the fight, and the referee had to wave it off with the last 20 seconds left. But um, Emmanuel Navarrete was going to get that wide unanimous decision, as I predicted. I felt that he would drop um, Christopher Diaz multiple times and get a wide decision, and that's what was going to happen, and I thought I was going to be 100% correct here, but I would say that I was about 85% correct in this prediction. But um, still, nonetheless, um, Emmanuel Navarrete did very, very good. He got a dominant victory and will most likely be either fighting yet another top contender in the WBO rankings or possibly unifying against one of the other top champions. So overall, Emmanuel Navarrete stops um, Christopher Diaz to get a statement victory in the 12th round to defend his WBO featherweight world title. And that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.